I'm Coach Martinez, a PE teacher at Lively Elementary in Irving ISD. We are looking at our five components of fitness, and we're gonna focus on one of them today. Let's check back on our five components of fitness. One of them is called cardio respiratory endurance. One of them is called muscular endurance. We also have muscular strength, flexibility, and body composition. Let's look at cardio. Not body composition today, not flexibility. We'll check out muscular strength and muscular endurance later. But let's focus on cardiorespiratory endurance. When you guys are working, it says you should be able to name the components of health-related fitness, such as muscular strength and muscular endurance. Today we're gonna to talk about cardio endurance, flexibility, and then we also have body composition. So keep remembering those. When we're looking at cardio, we kind of learned a little bit about the word cardio. And cardio means heart. I hope you were saying heart. Yeah, cardio means heart. If I was a cardiologist, I would be a heart doctor. Or if I had a cardiac arrest, that means I was having a heart attack. So the word cardio has to do with your heart. These are exercises, when we do a cardiorespiratory endurance exercise, these are exercises that make our heart pump fast and exercise our heart. I'll tell you in a second how to figure out if it's a cardiorespiratory endurance exercise. Let's look at the second word. So cardio means heart, respiratory. Respiratory has to do with your breathing or your lungs. That's right, I'll try to draw a picture of lungs here. All right, and then you kind of have a breathing tube called a trachea right there, airways, so we can breathe. And then the oxygen comes in and it fills up our lungs through these little branches right here, okay? That's my best drawing. And the last word, oh, respiratory, sorry. If you're on a respirator, that's like a, a breathing machine that goes on your mouth and it gets fresh air into your lungs. So respiratory, just like respirator, has to do with breathing. So respiratory. So we have our heart, cardio, respiratory, lungs, and the last word is endurance. Endurance means that you can keep going on and on and on and on and on and on and on forever. It says that you can last for a long period of time. So the word endurance means a long period of time. It's hitting my clock right there. All right? Long time. You can think about like the Energizer Bunny. It's a pink bunny and it has a little drum on it and it's drumming says, it keeps going and 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 going. It has a lot of endurance. It can last for a long period of time. So now that we know what these words mean, cardio, heart, respiratory, lungs, or breathing, endurance means lasting for a long period of time. These are exercises where your heart and your lungs are working together to provide oxygen to the muscles that are working when you're exercising, trying to get lots and lots of oxygen back to it, and it can do that for a long period of time. Here's um, a quick poster. Ta-da! Cardio endurance. The ability of the heart, cardio, and lungs, respiratory, to provide oxygen. When we breathe in, we suck in oxygen, not air, but oxygen, and that oxygen goes into our lungs, the blood picks it up, and the heart squeezes and pushes the blood to deliver that oxygen all over our body. So it's the ability of the heart and the lungs to provide oxygen. Who does it provide it? Where does it provide that oxygen? To the working muscles. If I'm working out like this, working hard, or I'm doing jumping jacks or running, I need the oxygen to go into the muscles that are running out of oxygen, not to the muscles down there that don't need any oxygen. So it's providing oxygen to the working muscles, and it does that for a long period of time. That's endurance. If you don't have very good endurance, then you cannot last for a long period of time. So let's check out some of those cardiorespiratory endurance exercises. Those would be things where your feet are coming up off the ground. When your feet, both of them, are coming up off the ground and your body's coming off the ground, it engages your heart. That means it gets your heart involved 
and get your heart working. So, stand up where you are. Yeah, we're gonna try a few out. Show me an exercise that you think is cardio, respiratory endurance. An exercise where your feet come up off the ground. Show me what you think. Come on, show me. Cardio, respiratory endurance. You could be jumping, because both feet are coming off the ground. You could hop, yeah, because both feet are off the ground. You could go for a run or a jog. Your feet are coming up off the ground. You could do jumping jacks, opening and closing, jumping. You could do jump rope. Yeah, we've been learning about jump rope and jumping. You can jump on stuff or off stuff. So whenever your feet, both feet are coming up off the ground, you're engaging your heart, you're getting your heart pumping. And when you get your heart pumping, then you're working on good strength for your heart because it's a muscle, pump, pump, pump. Respiratory, sucking in lots of oxygen and being able to last for a long period of time. I want you to try some cardio exercises this week. We have one posted here for you. It could be dancing, it could be running, taking your family out for a walk, anything where your feet are coming up off the ground, engaging your heart. And you probably will know because your heart will start pumping, boom, 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 increasing your heart rate. Also, you might start perspiring. Perspire means to sweat. And the last thing it says that you should do is your breathing rate. Because remember, we're increasing the oxygen, trying to get it to those working muscles. So your objective says you should be able to participate in moderate to vigorous physical activity on a daily basis. That means you should actually do it, participate. Moderate to vigorous, getting that heart pumping, working on the cardio endurance right here. If your heart's not pumping, then you're not moving at least moderately. You're moving too slow. Moderate's kind of like an even, a middle pace. All the way up to vigorous is like super fast, running fast, jump roping for a long time. And it says you should do that, those activities, physical activities, on a daily basis. And you'll know that if you're working hard, getting some good cardio, respiratory endurance, because you should increase, that means raise, increase your heart rate, boom, 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 boom. It should be pumping really fast, right? Increasing your heart rate, breathing rate, so making your breathing rate, whoo, whoo, whoo. you know when you're working out a lot, you're getting that oxygen to your body, you increase your breathing rate, and lastly is perspiration. When you're perspirating, you're sweating, that's what that means. So when you're exercising a lot with your cardiorespiratory endurance, you definitely increase your heart rate, your breathing rate, and your perspiration. You guys get going with our heart cardio exercises this week. And notice each week on your fitness, you have a cardio at the top, and then you have a muscular strength and endurance in the middle, and the last one is flexibility, working on all of our components of fitness. Have a great week, and let's get cardio.